This is part two of a tutorial on making a fork. I'm going to start making quad faces. Select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex. In the mesh menu, edges, make edge, notice shortcut key is F. Select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex, press F, and the four edges will form a quad face. I'm zooming back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to select this vertex, press G to grab and move it up. Hold down shift and select the second vertex. Now there is a shortcut key W, which I can use to get to subdivide. Select the new vertex, press G to grab and move that up. Hold down shift, select the second vertex, shortcut key shift and S and snap selection to grid. Select the vertex, shift select F, Select a vertex, shift select and F to make edge. Holding down shift and using the mouse wheel we can pan up and down. Select a vertex, hold down shift and press F. Select a vertex, hold down shift and press F. Hold down shift and use the mouse wheel to pan back down. Following this grid line down we need to move this vertex over one if you want a vertical edge. G to grab and move it over. Hold down shift, select the second vertex, W shortcut key and subdivide. Select the new vertex, G to grab, have that two across, one down. Hold down shift, select both, shift S and snap selection to grid. Select the vertex, hold down shift, press F. Select the vertex, hold down shift, press F. Select the vertex, hold down shift, select vertex, press F. Shift and mouse wheel to pan down. Select this vertex, press G to grab. I'm going to make the neck a little bit wider. Shift and S and snap selection to grid. Zoom back and we have our outline ready to mirror. I'm going to go into object mode. You have to be in object mode to apply a modifier and I'm going to apply the mirror modifier. Click the modifiers button, click add modifier, click mirror, click the apply button to make it permanent and go back into edit mode. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select, shift select F, select, shift select F, select, shift select F, Shift and pan with the mouse wheel. Select, shift select F, select, shift select F, select, shift select F. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and shift the middle mouse button to pan. Press A twice to select all and F to make face. Change the view to the right view. Press E to extrude. Press point four and enter. Press A twice to select all, change the view to the front view, add the subdivision surface modifier, set the level of subdivision to 3, press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and I'm going to press 0.6 and enter. I want to make the tips of the fork more pointed so I'm going to select a vertex, press B for B select and drag to select all the tips of the fork. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, only the visible vertices have been selected. So I'm going to click the limit selection to visible button to toggle that. Press B for B select and I've selected all the vertices. I'm going to press S for scale followed by X for the X direction and shrink that in. I'm going to enter a value of 0.9, enter. Rotating the view, I'm going to press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction, shrink that in, 0.8 and enter. Before I can bend the fork I need to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Before I do that I'm going to reduce the level of subdivision to 2. To apply a modifier you must go into object mode, click the apply button and go back into edit mode. Change the view to the right view select a vertex, press B for B select and select a group of vertices, enable proportional editing, 
Press G to grab followed by Y for the Y direction. Use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing. Move the selection. I'm going to enter a value of 0.8. Enter. Select a vertex. Press B for B select and select a group of vertices. Press G to grab followed by Y for the Y direction and move the selection. Use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing and I'm going to enter a value 0.4 enter. While we're in edit mode press A twice to select all. In the mesh menu normals recalculate outside normals will make sure all the faces align properly. Go into object mode, scroll up and set shading to smooth and that's our fork finished. I will put the outline of the fork and the finished fork model for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.